better days. It's got lots of stains on it. You can tell that it's velvet because when you go different ways, you can have the fabric stand up differently. So we're gonna paint it in Bohemian Blue. You always want to pick a darker color than what you have because if you have dark color and you want to paint it white, it's just not going to paint that well. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to take a water bottle and really get the chair wet. In this case, when you're painting fabric, you need lots of water because you're going to make it more like a dye than a paint. I put a little paint on my brush and then I'm gonna spray my brush with my water bottle too. While you're painting, continue to spray. And you're gonna do that with the whole chair, making this paint go a really long way. You're gonna need a couple coats, so stretch that paint out as far as you can. Get it nice and watered down. The more water that you put on it, the softer the chair will be. The more, the more you water it down, the more layers you're gonna have to do. But that will make the fabric soft and not crunchy, stiff like you painted it. You're more dyeing it. Continue to do that for the whole chair. You can find all these products at thepaintphotographer.com. Between each layer of paint, you're gonna to wanna to take a sandpaper and sand the fabric. What this is going to do is it's gonna cause that fabric to be softer and more like its fabric. And so you'll sand all of that paint until it's soft. Some of it at this point is gonna come off on your hand, but that's okay. Now it's time for another layer of paint. Spray it with water, same process. You're gonna make that cushion so um, wet that the fabric is going to dye. Again, not you're not painting it on, you're dyeing the fabric, which keeps that fabric nice and soft. I wanted to blend another color in with the Bohemian Blue, so this is mint chip. And I, I wanted the outsides to be a little bit on the dark, but that top of the chair, I wanted it lighter. So I blended in some mint chip. The same as if you'd be doing this on wood, you can do it on fabric. Just keep blending, keep watering it down. And again, you're gonna sand it. You can either use Big Top or Wax. For this project, I chose the DIY Clear Wax. It goes on like butter, and I'm using my DIY wax brush. You just put some on your brush and apply it to the fabric. It'll be soft, just like the fabric was before. After the wax was dried, I took a 
dry cloth and buffed it. And this is where you can make it nice and soft and have a little bit of a sheen to it. So just keep buffing. Now I wanted to put a stamp on here. So I lined the stamp up on my chair and then I put that clear plexi over the top of it, which created the design in one pattern. Then I took my DIY paint and added it to a piece of plexiglass. Took my brayer from IOD and smoothed out the paint onto my brayer. You want a nice, even coat on your brayer. Then I transferred it to the stamp. Turn that stamp over, lay it down onto the cushion, and then press firmly. The cushion has a little bit of give to it, so you have to be a little bit careful, but you can let that paint adhere to that top of that cushion. This is the Queen Bee stamp from IOD, and the chair was painted in Bohemian Blue and Mint Chip. Isn't it gorgeous? All right, we got a little bit of a smudge mark here and a little bit on the other one. So let's see if we can fix this. So I don't mind the distress look. It's already a bit on the distress side. So let's just take a bit of sandpaper and knock it down a bit. Let's try this. added more paint to it, we need to add a bit more clear wax. So that that white paint doesn't come off. And also the blue where we sanded it. We wanna make sure that the paint is treated and not gonna come off. Is clear waxed. I'm gonna put some dark wax on it by DIY. And I'm gonna add a little bit to the chairs. Darkening up that lower section of the chair. Because we put the clear wax on there, we should be able to take a paper towel and blend this dark wax in. Oh yeah, covered that flaw right up. So now we're going to take a little bit more and blend it in. Blend that in with our paper towel. It took that white paint flaw right away. I'm gonna distress the other chair cushion just like I did the first one.
hope you enjoyed this video. It sure was fun to make over those chairs. That fabric, it feels just as soft as it did when I started. You can find all of these products at thepaintedphotographer.com. And if you hit the subscribe and like button, you'll make my day. And as always, thanks for watching and happy painting.